everybody, my name is Coach Shane and welcome to Easy English Expressions. Come on, let's master English. Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression, the podcast. This is Coach Shane. Thank you so much for listening to my podcast. It really makes me so happy. It's number 1,126. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about clothing, specifically four different types of shirts. And these are specifically for men, but I'll try to help out the ladies too. The four shirts are, just listen, t-shirt, that's easy, sweatshirt, sounds easy, dress shirt, okay, undershirt, hmm. No problem, right? You know, it's actually better to learn this type of uh, lesson visually. So I do recommend, if you can, like join my lessons. You can try my lessons for free. Let's master English.com. Sign up for the newsletter. And if you're in China right now, we have an English camp. A new one is starting in two weeks. So it's a great time to join my camp. And if you're in China, the way to join my camp is on WeChat. I want you to follow my camp director, U2233. That's Y O U T U R San San. <laughs> That's my Chinese. Y O U T U R San San. U2233. Sorry. T shirt, sweatshirt, dress shirt, undershirt. Check out the Daya, Daya dialogue. You wear a dress shirt under a sweatshirt? Yeah, it looks good. And under that, an undershirt. Don't you? No, a t-shirt. That's what normal people do. Boring. Uh, now it's confusing, right? Okay, first sentence, it's easy. You wear a dress shirt. Now, this is two words, dress shirt. And guys, everybody, ladies, all you have to think of is when a man wears a suit... He usually has a white shirt with a collar and a tie, right? A nice necktie. That shirt is called a dress shirt, a button-down shirt, a collared shirt. It's a dress shirt. Now, dress shirts are perfect uh, with a tie, right? They, so imagine it's, it's, it's probably white, just one color. A dress shirt under a sweatshirt. What's a sweatshirt? A sweatshirt is actually like a sweater. It's kind of big, much bigger. It's usually very soft. It's usually made of cotton. And the perfect image I can give to you is like there's a university name on the front. It's a long sleeve, cotton, kind of puffy, kind of big sweater. It's not formal. You would, I, in my recommendation, if you're wearing a business suit, you would not wear a sweatshirt. That would look kind of weird. So this guy, he's not wearing a suit, but he has a dress shirt under the sweatshirt. Can you imagine the image? If you can't imagine the image, send me an email. Just uh, uh, contact at, or better, just go to YouTube and watch the video. I have a video of this uh, uh, lesson, 1137, but I hope that you can imagine it. This is kind of difficult describing things in a podcast, but it's very good practice, very good practice for your English. Okay, so the first one, you wear a dress shirt under a sweatshirt. That's a weird combination. That's weird. But the guy says, yeah, it looks good. And under that, an undershirt. Ah, uh, undershirt? Undershirt. That's like the inside, inside clothing. The basic, like, like your underwear. You always wear underwear, right? I hope so. Don't tell me. I don't want that information. But I'm assuming you always wear underwear. 
And if you wear a dress shirt, you probably also wear an undershirt. In the summertime, at night, when it's hot, many times guys only wear their undershirt. The undershirt. It's usually white, right? So this guy has an undershirt on. Over the undershirt, he has a dress shirt. And over the dress shirt, he has a sweatshirt. Whew, that's a big combination. So again, listen carefully. You wear a dress shirt under a sweatshirt? Yeah, it looks good. And under that, an undershirt. Don't you? And the guy says, no, a t-shirt. So what he means is, if he wears a sweatshirt under the sweatshirt, he wears a t-shirt. A t-shirt is just a regular shirt. Like it, it can have a rock and roll band on it. Right now I have a t-shirt that says uh, the 2024 solar eclipse. I've got lots of t-shirts. My students, you guys have sent me so many t-shirts from around the world, from Russia, Brazil, China, everywhere. So yeah, if you want to send me a t-shirt, that'd be really cool. Do you, do you want to? I'll give you my address. Uh, but anyway, back to the story. Now, under, when I wear a sweatshirt, I wear a T-shirt under the sweatshirt. That's what normal people do. In other words, you are not normal. And finally, the guy says, boring. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, it is a weird combination, a dress shirt and a sweatshirt. That is a weird combination. But. I've worn weird combinations before, and people n see it, and, and sometimes it kind of looks cool. It's like a, a new trend. Uh, unfortunately, when I did new things or unconventional clothing combinations, people just laughed. It's best to look normal. <laughs> I'm not a model, right? If you're going to wear weird clothes, you better look good. Yeah, you better have you, you, something. You got you to gotta look good. Okay, so hopefully you guys have a better understanding of these different words. They're very different shirts. T-shirt, sweatshirt, dress shirt, undershirt. Okay, they're very, very different. And if you don't really understand, again, uh, my YouTube video number 1,137 should help you a little bit more. You can search images on Bing or Google. And if you have questions, of course, you can ask me. And uh, I'll be more than happy to answer you. My email address, contact at, no, oh, not Gmail. No, sorry. Contact at letsmasterenglish.com. God, I'm such a terrible business guy. Uh, yeah, get my free lessons in China. Join my camp, you 2 er -san, san on WeChat. Check out the dialogue two more times. And together, let's master English. You wear a dress shirt under a sweatshirt? Yeah, it looks good. And under that, an undershirt, don't you? No, a t-shirt. That's what normal people do. Boring. You wear a dress shirt under a sweatshirt? Yeah, it looks good. And under that, an undershirt. Don't you? No, a t-shirt. That's what normal people do. Boring.